Did I get a look from over there too? <laughs> okay. But this year what we're asking is that um, literally that um, if we can, you represent your family or families do a lip sync together. Y'all going to do one? Come on. There we go. <laughs> the Williams is going to do They going to you going to be in Hatha Madan with me? Yeah. Come on, in Jesus name. We're going to do we our family, our whole family going to do a lip sync. Glory to God. And um, so it's going to be it it'll be fun. So um Come on, sister Cheryl, you 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 trying to convince them? Yo, you ain't using no in Jesus name. <laughs> <laughs> but look, it should be fun. Um, come on. So, so have we convinced Kyrie over there yet? Have we convinced him? Nobody on my team wants to, but I will take one for the team. You gonna take one for the team? No, Kiki gonna do it. She, you know. Oh, she. <laughs> she don't understand Hatha Madan. She don't understand Hatha Madan. Oh, pick a new song then. That, that's creative. You got creative control, Kiki. Okay, take over the creative control and go ahead on and bring something from from the fam. Come on, Amen. All right, good. So, so it's gonna be fun. We were gonna do hors d'oeuvres at night, so you it'd be like we're starting at like nine o'clock, um, a little later than we normally would. But we're gonna try to do some hors d'oeuvres for about an hour or so, and just fellowship, talk to one another, wear your mask. Hallelujah. Amen. And all that good stuff, and then we will launch into the, the service time. So, um, not not the full blown. We probably need to move a little bit of chairs back because we got to get a little dance on. If we don't get no dance on, it ain't New Year's Eve. So we got to get a little dance on. We got to get a little something. I got to do a stanky leg or something, man. I got a stanky leg. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can't I can't stink. Can't stink. Can't stink. They saw me singing leg on live stream just then, so I can't do that. <laughs> All right, so this end of the year celebration, the 31st is the night. Glory to God. Come and join it with us, 9 o'clock in the evening. It will be a good time. Amen? Amen. All right, good. So thank you guys um, um, for being here. It's going to be a great day. I told my wife coming today, um, this is the, 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 the n number seven of these attributes of Jesus. Um, this is the day to be here. It, it is really important. Um, live stream, those of you that are listening by live stream, those of you may even listen later by live stream, this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to think of three people in your heart and mind or go through your, your phone or your Rolodex or whatever. I want you to think of three people right now. I want you to get three names right now. Um, out of your that you want to um, bless today. I want you to think of three people. I want you to think of three people. Wow, and I'll tell you what to do with those three people after you get them later in the message. But make sure you get three people today right there on live stream. So amen. All right, good. So let's let's pray. Father, we bless you and thank you for this awesome time that we can gather together. Thank you for this time that we can gather and and put on our red and celebrate the season, but also okay, recognize it is the blood that we need. Yes. Hallelujah. That covers our lives. And we bless you and thank you yes. for this awesome time. We ask now that the Spirit of Christ would be in this room today and will take us into places that we have not gone. We thank you so much that you will do an amazing work in our lives today. You will show us things and you will do things for us that we were not planning on receiving, but you were planning on giving. Yes, we give you honor for it and we thank you for it in Jesus name and all the people said, amen. amen. So let me ask you this question. How many of y'all got your crowns? I hear I hear Christmas bells. <laughs> so come on, anybody got their crowns? Well, I went to Burger King and got mine, <laughs> and I would have wore it today, but my wife didn't let me drive my car. I had the crown in my car so I wouldn't forget it. And my wife said, "No, don't drive your car. Drive my car because I got all these flowers and stuff." 
So my crown is at home, but I was going to wear my crown, but I got a Burger King crown. I got a black one. They have black ones. They have black ones. So that I can wear my crown. You need to be wearing your crown. Your kings and priests. Hello. Together. Pastor Paul Blue went out and got five crowns, put them on his family head, took pictures. <laughs> From Burger King. See what you started, bro? Yeah. A whole movement. <laughs> so he put five, he got five, all of them standing with gold crowns on. With, and taking pictures of I said man you are crazy but that's 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 agreement amen, amen. so where, where we come because we are kings and priests and we are connected in Christ um, look at verse 11 of Revelation chapter 5 verse 11 says and I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands same with a loud voice. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power. What is that? Dunamis. And riches. And what is that? Okay. It's not enough people talking. Okay. What is power? Dunamis. What is riches? Bluetooth. Come on. What is wisdom? Sophia. What is strength? Iskus. What is honor? Teme. What is glory? Doxa. And now we have come to blessings, which is eulogia. 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 E U L O G I A. E U L O G I A. Eulogia. We get our word eulogy from it. Okay? So we get our word eulogy from this word, which means blessing. Okay? It is G2129 in your Strong's Concordance. G2129. You will need to keep up with these Strong Concordance numbers today. There are seven that you're going to need to know. Okay? And this word actually means fine speaking, elegant language. It means commendations. It means adoration. It means consecration. It means bountiful. It means praise, it means benefits, it means largeness. I'll go back through those for you again. It means fine speaking, it means elegance of language, commendations, adoration, consecration, bountiful, praise, benefits, largeness. Okay? This is what that word means. When we hear blessings, we tend to think about tangible things. I receive a blessing. And we think it's something tangible. Okay? Right? And there is a word that represents some of that, but this word actually doesn't represent mostly tangible things you can it mostly deals with eloquence of speech and language it, 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 it means to affirm and commend and adore through language which is what you do at a eulogy you don't bring the person in the box a gift <laughs> but you bless their life you speak about the goodness about their life and all that you can remember of it and make people remember the greatness of the person's life. You're not there to bring gifts, but you're there to bless. Okay, right? Are you, are you with me? Okay, and so God has given the priest side 
And the priest side is honor, glory, and blessing. God has given the priest side this ability to bless. Has given the priest side this ability to honor. Has given the priest side this ability to function and walk in the glory. Uh, are y'all with me? And so the priests have this. Remember the first four were for kings and this last three are for priests. Okay, right? Now, I will say to you as we go today, you need to understand that the reason why you have this is so that you can be a blessing to the generation. Okay? You, you're going you're gonna to learn a lot today. I think what you're going to realize, I'm hoping you realize, is that the one, of the, one of the things that God has given us, we haven't been using effectively, and therefore we haven't been shifting the generation because we haven't been using it effectively. But um, the other thing that I will, I will say to you also, as I try to set this up better for you, is that you will use blessing over food. And you call it a blessing. Okay? Let me hit you with a, a kind of shocker. Um, blessing doesn't necessarily have to do with praying. Okay? I want you to hear me. It, blessing doesn't necessarily have to do with praying. Okay? And that, that sounds a little strange, doesn't it? Because that's all we, we have attached blessing to. Blessing has to do with speaking into a, speaking into a situation so that the situation changes to become what you wanted to become and that doesn't have to do with praying because as a king I also can excuse a thing y'all with me and see that it change because it's outside are y'all tracking so far trying to go slow right here so that you can catch up with me G3107 because when we talk about blessing immediately we can immediately go to Jesus on the Sermon on the Mount Sermon on the Mount, Jesus is on the Sermon on the Mount and he says, blessed be the poor in spirit. Right? Yeah. He said, blessed be those people. And he goes through all these blessings. That's not 2129. That's not eulogia. Okay? That's 3107. Every one of those blessings that he used when he said, blessed be, okay, makariso, is whole nother word he's dealing with happy happy is the poor in spirit he uses the word happy happy is the meek happy is the word literally just means to be happy okay everybody could give you some definition so that we can we can we can move in this and then um, we're going to also look at bless just the word bless just the word bless. When you the word bless also connects to eulogia, but it's eulogio, and it's the word bless, and it is twenty one twenty seven. G twenty one twenty seven. Why am I giving you all these? I can't. I can't hear y'all. Don't talk under your breath. Talk loud like somebody want to know you. So you can do what? So you can go back and look for yourself. I'm not telling you this. I'm not giving you this up front so that you can look at me and go, okay, teach me this. No, I want you to go and look it up for yourself. Now, this particular word, when you use bless, eulogio, rather than eulogia, um, it means to praise, celebrate with praise, to invoke blessings, to consecrate, because it comes from, because 2129 comes from 2127. Okay? Everybody got that? Okay? Some people might think, what are you talking about, right? Okay, well, you got to come to Bethel and grow up in God, okay? Stop just getting preached to and learn something. Let me learn you something. 2127 also deals with what we would say, I'm going to ask God's blessing on a thing. So that's why you pray over your food. You pray over your food because you're asking God to bless the thing that you're about to partake. And you're saying bless, you're also blessing God for providing what you're about to partake. Okay? Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay? So that's that word. And we're going to come, we're going to come back, get ready to go into some scripture. 
And um, I promise you today, I'm going to try in Jesus name by the power and the blessedness of the Holy Ghost with smearing of smearing of oil and everything to be short. The word blessed with an ED blessed blessed is G 21 28. Now notice we got 27. 28 and now 29 all so all these are in line with each other eulogias eulogiast eulogias eulogia eulogio eulogias okay and so all of them are the same the root is eulogy okay that's what we got all right but this one means blessed and praise and what I want to take you first is to show you all of them working together in one place, and that's in Ephesians 1. Yes. So let's go to Ephesians 1, and let's look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, Ephesians 1, and this verse now will make a little more sense to you, and it will come alive a little bit more. I'll read from verse 1, but we're going to go to 3. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace be to you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Notice, he says what? Blessed. G2128. G2128 is what he just said. Blessed. Be what? God and the Father of our so you could literally change that to say praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ you could literally just change that word to praise okay alright but the transcriber use blessed blessed be the Lord, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has done what Bless, has blessed us and that bless is 2127 Okay, he has blessed us. So there is a blessing on us. God has blessed us with what? All spiritual what? And that is 2129. That is 2129. So in that verse, in heavenly, in, in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So in the one verse, you got all three of the words used to represent blessed. Okay? Eulogia, eulogio, eulogias. All of them, all three of them in that one verse. Paul used all of them. And Paul says at the end of that that God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. And now what he's basically saying is that God is constantly speaking over you right things. That's good, Bishop. That's good. Mm. Praise be, the, praise be the, to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we could say. Who has blessed us. He's spoken blessings over us and he's constantly speaking blessings over us. So God is always speaking well over us. Did, did you hear that? Are you, are you understanding that? Because I don't, know, I don't know how active you think God is in your life. But it is a continual thing that's going on in your life is he's always active and he's always speaking over you right and proper things matter of fact this word also means to cause to prosper so I saved that because I know you would gravitate to it first <laughs> to cause to prosper to make happy to bestow blessings or favor of God so the, so the grace of God becomes a blessing of God Are you hearing me? So God speaks grace over you. He has blessed you. Amen. Okay, come on now. This is is going to be is going to be good in 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 a minute. James says something that is a really interesting thing. James says something that is really 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 interesting, guys. When you really get to this, James three. Go go, go over there for a second. James three. And, um, you know, you know, when you go to the book of James, you got to start ducking. Anytime you head towards James, you can just duck. Because <laughs> James is not playing with you at all, man. 
James not playing with you at all. James said, if you're going to live right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you live right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why is this? James 3, 10. Yeah. I'm jumping down there. I don't want to jump down there, but I have to. Oh. No, I can't jump down there. Go to verse 8. Read with me. It says, but the tongue... Can no man tame? It is what? Full of what? Deadly poison. Come on, read. There was God. There was what? Even the Father. He said, with this deadly tongue, you try to bless God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you try to bless God with that thing. He says, and with what? And and there with what? Curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. You try to bless God and curse men. <laughs> who's got a Who's got a keyword? Who got a keyword? Study Bible here. You got it. What What bless is that? G what? Did he give it to you? Because I didn't look that up. It's 27? Okay. G2127. The blessed there is G2127. All right. So you try to bless God, come, come in the presence of God with all that blessing, bless the Lord, praise God, right? And then talk about your neighbor. Oh, yeah. Oh, Holy Spirit. Uh, let's keep reading because I'm trying to get to get to ten. And he says, "Out of the same mouth, come on, somebody say same mouth. Same mouth. Who proceedeth what blessings and curses? He said, my brethren, come on, somebody. These things what are not so to be. And he said, does a fountain send forth?" At the same place, sweet water and bitter? Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries? Or either a vine figs? He said, so can no fountain both yield salt, water, and fresh. And I want you to think about this, guys. So he's saying right here clearly, he's saying clearly, listen, there is no way that you're supposed to be able to as a believer to say you bless God and have one negative word come out of your mouth not every once in a while a negative word not one negative word he said not one negative word can, see that whole example you can't have fresh water and salt water you can't have fresh water one day salt water the next day or fresh water one minute and salt water the next minute. He so therefore can no evil come out of your mouth ever. Okay. Not every once in a while. Right. Not because somebody made me upset. Because the worm yeah. can never become the snake. It is either a snake or it's a worm. It can't be both. I told you duck. I, I told you, I clearly told you when you go to change, you got to duck. You got to duck. You got to duck. Because if you don't bob and weave with James, he's going to knock you out, man. You got to be bobbing and weaving with James. So then, riddle me this, Batman. How is it then that we're so easily able yes, sir. That's right. to release negativity out of our mouths when we're supposed to be born and saved and filled with the precious oh, Holy Ghost? Oh, my God. Yes, but we can say the meanest things 
the most hateful things, the most unflattering things, the things that are not eloquent. Oh, come on, praise God. Don't get mad at me. Come on. Celebrate with the brother. Oh, look, we, we had the last one. Remember the list. Remember the rule and the principle of the list. What is the principle of the list? The last thing mentioned is usually the most important thing. And the last thing in this list, if you did it, accomplish the rest of the list. <laughs> if you learn blessing, you walk in power. If you learn blessings, you're increasing riches. God. Am I talking to the right church? Yes, Y'all look pretty and stuff, but you ain't saying nothing to a brother. Hi, live screen. I hope you got your three people. Get your three people, live screen. If you came on late, I want you to think of three people. Look in your Rolodex, your phone. Find three people. The Lord will illuminate those people to you. Get those three people. Write their names down right now. That's the first thing I want you to do. Write their names down right there. Those three people that you just got. I want you to write their names down. And that is not for the in-house folk. That's for the live screen folk. That ain't for y'all. You can write down three if you want to, but you can do it later, what I'm going to tell them to do. But you're going to do it in-house. They're going to do it out there. So, <laughs> so God, I'm looking at this thing, I'm reading through this, and I'm going through this. I said, okay, man, the only place that we really go, have you ever, now I was in one, and it was so awkward. Have you ever been to a funeral? Have you ever, anybody ever been to a funeral and somebody got up and talked bad about the person that was in the box? <laughs> come on, anybody, anybody ever, come on, come on, anybody ever been to one? Where they, I've been to one. Now, I've been to one. I've been to one where the person got up and railed on the person in the box. And the whole place got real uncomfortable. <laughs> Got real uncomfortable because the person was railing on the folk in the person in the box and was telling him that he didn't want all that. That's the last thing we would think would happen. You would have been crying laughing. I think you would have. I know you, boy, in your sense of humor, bro. You would probably been back there crying. People think you crying for the person, you just laughing at them. <laughs> It was it was really it was real uncomfortable in the room. They had to try to get up and fix it and all of that, and it won't much fixing to it. It was done because at the eulogy, it ain't a time to be talking about nobody, even if they're your worst enemy. Enemy, you know, you don't say nothing. My mama said it for years. If you ain't got nothing good to say. Don't say nothing at all. Right. Keep keep your mouth closed. But this person had a poem. <laughs> they had written a poem about how bad this person was to them. I'm sitting on the stage like Lord Jesus. <laughs> And you couldn't shut them down because they were family. That made it worse. It wasn't no good day. There's a couple of us that was in the room and I just brought the uncomfortableness back up to their minds. They had forgotten about that. But it was not a good day. It was interesting. We fixed it. It, it, it was fixed. You know, and we got the spirit of the room back. <laughs> But you don't, the eulogies are not for that, is it? No. Okay, so most of the time, if you're going to go to a eulogy, you know you're going, even if that person wasn't all that, they're going to try to say something good about them. Yes. The wife said, I can't say nothing good about the fact that he put the toilet seat down every time. <laughs> but that's, that he did that, and he did it well. If that's all she can say, let her say that. <laughs> and sit down and say amen. 
<laughs> Are y'all tracking with me? So this is what I'm. This is what I realized when I was studying this. If blessing has to do with eulogy, preacher, then I'm supposed to eulogize you continually. I'm not supposed to. When you when you happen to get in the box, but you might, I think you're gonna be caught up. I don't know if you're gonna see the box. You're gonna just try to go up with him. You going up with him? Yeah, that's me. Me too. I, I look. I, I'm. I, I as you let me swing by here to pick you up and go on. Yeah, right, right, that's right. Going on up. Going on up. That's right. Glory to God. Now, I will say this. If you fly Delta, you guys going to have to have an hour layover over Atlanta. <laughs> you will not. You will not go straight up. <laughs> everybody, everybody in Atlanta will be an hour late. <laughs> there, is, there is a layover over Atlanta. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, let me get back to Miss. Um, Get back to the message, right? All right. All right, so this is the deal. If I'm supposed to eulogize you your entire life, then when you get to the place that you're in the box, this is just the extension of what we've already been doing. This is not a new thing. This is not a first time thing. This is what you're supposed to be getting all the time. You're supposed to constantly be talked about in such a light that encourages you while you can yet hear it. Because, because, come on! If you have gone on to be with the king, there is nothing I can say to you about over you down here that's going to make any difference about why you there with the king. There is nothing I'm going to be able to decree increase in you. I can talk about how great you were all I want down here on earth, but why you you don't go to another level? People say I know they sitting there watching over. They ain't looking at you. <laughs> oh, I know they're looking down. They ain't looking at you unless they're praying to God over you. They ain't got no time for you when they can see Jesus. Who got time for you when they can see Jesus? They ain't trying to come back. They ain't trying to do none of that. You can talk all the good stuff you want. They gone on. So you got to eulogize for now. Are you hearing me? Yes, okay, okay, I'm watching my time. I want you to go to 1 Corinthians with me real quick. Several places you got to learn how to bless. No, 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 don't go there yet. Go to Peter. Peter is another place that you got to duck every once in a while. Chapter 1 Peter, um, chapter 3. So watch Peter. Every once in a while, Peter will sneak one in on you. So you got to watch those guys. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Y'all there? Yes. Okay, I'm not. Wait a minute. Wait for me. All right, good. Chapter 3. Look at verse 9. I'm going to have to jump right to this because I've got to watch my time. No, let's go to verse 8. Finally, ye all... Uh, how many minds? One uh -huh, Yeah, 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 I love that. Having... Compassion, compassion what? One, uh, one another. Do what? Love, love. love his brother and be what? Pitiful. Pitiful. Be what? Courteous. Oh my God. Not rendering what? Evil. Or what? Evil. But what? Evil. Stop. He says, you do not have the right to render evil for evil, railing for railing. He said, contrary wise, you got to be the ones that bless. Amen. Now, let me, let me ask you something. When was the last time somebody uh -oh. talked about you and you blessed them back? What she said? I can't remember that. She can't remember none of them, huh? <laughs> when was the last time somebody cursed you and not having, having to use a curse word necessarily? Mm 
See, curses don't have to have to be a curse word. It don't have to be a full letter adjective. It, come on. We're just saying you're not going to do that. I don't believe you can. That's a curse. Do you understand that? When was the last time somebody cursed you, you blessed them back? It's quiet. Why is it quiet? <laughs> you got to get this. You, he said contrary wise. Ooh. Contrary wise, be different than what just happened to you. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> he said be different. Contrary wise, blessing, knowing that ye are therefore called that you should inherit a blessing. Yes. Wow. If somebody speaks evil against you, rail on you, you realize if I bless them, I'm going to get a blessing. If I, if I instead not get upset, not think something evil has happened to me, not think something's sticking on me, not get bitter, I'm going to get a blessing. I bless you. You are the blessings of the Lord. I pray over you like never before. Now, I'm, listen, guys. <laughs> I got two. I got several more things to tell you, man. But let me tell you this story. I told this story in this church before, but I want this so apropos. A police officer had a call. They had a call to a hotel room, actually, where there was a disturbance going on. And shots had been fired and they went to the hotel room they break through the door the guy who was in the place had already killed the person in the room and he was barricaded in the room himself and they literally break through the door and when they break through the door naturally he he starts firing and when he, when he starts firing, they fire back naturally, okay? But the door closed and an officer is hit and is in the floor. Now, the other officers can't get back into the room. Why? Because the officer is right at the door. He, they can't get back in there. He fell at the door. The guy's at the door and the officer is trying to protect himself from getting shot. The guy is trying to shoot him. Okay, are you with me? <laughs> and this officer is in a bad place because the because the criminal is barricade back, got like behind stuff. He done made a barricade and he's back behind stuff, so he's in a bad situation. The officer is on the ground. This officer happens to be a Christian. It's an interesting story. And this is what the officer hears in his ears. Because he's trying to talk to this guy and said, man, look, you got to give yourself up. You know, he's not going to give myself up. I'm not going to. No, 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 no. They did back and forth. And because he's got to stand up, but the officer's hit. So now watch. He says, he hears this word in his heart. Bless him. Mm, wow. Hey, wait a minute. I'm in a life and death situation with a criminal. I've been hit. I got to get out of this room. You telling me to bless this dude? And the officers, this is his testimony. The officer said he began to speak blessings over the man's life. And the guy surrenders. To the officer who's hit on the ground, he surrenders his weapon and they take him into custody. What happened? What happened is you haven't understood the power of the blessing. The power of the blessing allows God to move in. 
and, and deal with the person that mean you harm or is doing wrong and God allows you to bless them so that, listen, watch, doesn't make sense. God says to Daniel, pray for the prosperity of Babylon. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Where, why, where, where is Daniel? In captivity. In Babylon. Why would I pray for them to prosper when I'm in captivity? Because you're praying for their blessing is going to allow me to move in the situation beyond where you could move if you were just cursing them or trying to get out of it. Pray for, I, come on, I allowed you to be here for this reason. Because you're going to be the source of the blessing to this nation. You're going to be the source of the blessing to these people. So I've allowed you to get captured. I've allowed you to go through this so that you can bless the situation. But we tend to curse it. Bitter and sweet coming out of saying, well, bitter and sweet, bitter and sweet. Are you getting this? See, the, see the, one of the most, one of the most um, serious things that happened in your Bible is Esau. Esau for a, a morsel or a bowl of soup sells his blessing. You, we say birthright. It, it was his blessing. It was the blessing of the father. Come on, think about it. It was the blessing of the father that would now set him on course for the rest of his life. Jacob says something that's amazing. Many times we read stuff and man, we don't see it. Jacob says something that, um, I mean, um, Isaac says something that's amazing to Esau when he realized that Jacob has tricked him, you know. And Jacob was a deceiver, man. And his mama was in on it. Okay, so they deceive Isaac and his dim eyedness and all that. It's amazing the stuff that God let happen in the Bible, ain't it? Yeah. It's amazing, man. And then God uses it and Jesus comes through that lineage. You can't even believe that. <laughs> How can you make that right, God? Because I'm God. But wait a minute now. When Jacob actually comes to Isaac and says, Look, Daddy, that was not me. I mean, Esau, come to that. That was not me. That was Jacob. He says, I don't have another blessing to give you. See, we, we, man, what? You can't just give me what you gave him. No, nope, it's gone now. I have released that blessing. I can't give you that same blessing. He said he laid his hand on him and gave him a few good little things, but, but for the most part, not the one that he should have gotten. Now, Jacob was gone, had packed his bags, and had taken the first train out of town, and <laughs> had headed north, <laughs> had headed north to go, to go meet his deceiver. He was going to pay for it now. <laughs> he, he, he was going to pay for this thing. He didn't know he was going to pay for it the way he had to pay for it. But he had to pay for that rascal, man. Woo! And, um, and I looked at it, I said, my Lord. Now listen to me close, though. Isaac didn't have but the one blessing. <laughs> you have more than Isaac. You don't run out. Wow. It's good, sir. Mm. And most of yours haven't even been used. Amen. I, uh, we go around the country. I got a couple more things and I'll be finished. We go around the country and um, do a meeting called Stand Courageous with Men. And um, General Bork and wrote a book called Man to Man and in the book he talks about the fact that the only thing he um, missed in his Christian walk was the fact that his father got 
his father got saved late in life and he was never able and he died before he was able to bless him so he never received the father's blessing he was saying this at a conference and while he was at this conference saying this he didn't know this man but there was a man in the audience that listened to him and start walking through the audience coming to him and he saw this big black man walking towards him and the man was Pastor Charles Flowers mm -hmm. Bishop Charles Flowers who you guys have heard and know and who was a part of our organization at this time and he came up to the stage and he, and he had never met General and General had never met him and he told him he says General I am I'm a pastor from San Antonio and if you would allow me I'll breath bless you in the stead of your father I, pr I pray the Father's blessing on you. And here is this three-star general getting blessed by this pastor and bawling. And, and we realize that that powerful time, and general realize that powerful time especially, is a time that needs to be used in these meetings because many men have never been blessed by their fathers. Especially. But not only men, but father, but women have never been blessed by their fathers. So we have a blessing service at the end of the meetings and it is so powerful. You see men that come up and bless their sons and then get blessings themselves because many times they have never been blessed. We share this in the pastor's meeting the night before and we say to pastors, if you've never been blessed by your father, we want to, we want to bless you. We want to lay our hands on you and speak affirmations over you. We're not just praying. We're speaking affirmations and commendations and, come on, fine speech over you. And you see these pastors break down and weep because they never had the Father's blessing. When I got born again and I got, after I got married, I took my wife with me to my father in, in an evening and I went to my father with Joandra early in marriage and I said to my father and I had lived with him for a long time um, because of situations in my, my family situation and, but I had gone on and, and I went to him and I said to him listen you got to bless me my father's a man of God my father's a man of God I said you got to bless me I need your blessing I said, I'm going to get down here on my knees while my wife is here with me. And I need you to lay your hands on me. And I need you to speak a blessing over me. Are you hearing me? What I realized in my life was that I had grown up in a situation where a lot of curses were spoken over me. Where a lot of people told me what I couldn't do, how I couldn't do it. It usually was somebody around me that was trying to keep me from being who I needed to be with curses coming out of their mouths. It was somebody, it made no difference if it was just if family, it made no difference if it was strangers, it made no difference if it was work relations, the enemy knew who I was supposed to be and had somebody stationed to speak curses over me, not curse words, but curses to say you will not become anything in this earth. I remember a stranger that would come to our house, one of the one of the neighborhood drunks who dared to speak something out of his mouth over me as though he had a right to say that I would never accomplish anything. It was hell. The first person I met outside of my family who affirmed me and made sure that I knew I could be all I could be and anything I could be was, a matter of fact, I even had somebody that was negative on our football team that was assigned. He, was, he, he had an assignment against me. He was a coach. Not even my coach. Jesus Christ. But the running back coach, I'm a quarterback. He was not even my coach, but he was assigned to deal with Jackson. It was the enemy. I, I, I can look back and see it. I didn't know it then. Are you, are you following me? Okay. And so the first person I met outside of my family, outside of any of that, that affirmed me continually and still today do, is Wellington Boone. 
He was the first person I met outside of my family that saw me for who he believed God was making me and affirmed me and believed that you're going to be great. You're going to do things that I never did. And he, that's blessing. He wasn't praying. He was blessing me. Speaking the right things over me. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. Is that making any sense to you guys? Yes. And so, <laughs> I'm, I, man, my time. I, I'm, I, I know I, I, I want to definitely, but I'm trying to make sure I don't. I, let me let me show you. Um, um, something that we do that we may do slightly wrong. And that is communion. Paul says, is not this the cup of blessing that we bless? We tend not to bless the cup. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? We take the communion sacrament, but we never really bless the Lord for the blood. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? We, we, tend, we don't take enough time to speak blessings over that that we're about to partake. We spend more time blessing our food than we do blessing the communion. Come on, are y'all with me here? He said, but is not this the cup of blessing that we bless, that we should be blessing? The other place that Paul deals with this is in your giving. Paul says, you are to give bountifully. The word bountifully there is the word blessings. Mm -hmm. You are to be a blessing with your giving. Mm -hmm. Your giving is supposed to speak blessings and be a blessing. Okay? And not just in an offering, but whenever you're giving, yeah. it's supposed to be doing that. Yeah. Okay, that, those times. Y'all get, getting that? Yes, so, what I understood... From, from the Lord in this time was um, that we are supposed to um, today have a blessing service. The, again, we're supposed to have a blessing service. So that's why I've got to try to end here because I've got to pray for some of y'all and then they got to do their thing. I need to bless some of you who never receive a blessing from your fathers. Your, fathers. your father never blessed you. I need to be a source of that. I need to stand in the gap of that for you. But the house is supposed to bless each other. You, you literally today is, are to walk around in this place and, and talk to somebody and not pray over them, but speak a blessing and tell them who you see they are. How you see them in God. How you're honored to serve with them in God. Now, um, I've had a great year, and, and, and starting last year, but really great time this year because I've had to think about many of you do throughout the year because I've been able to send you birthday cards. Okay? And I've had the opportunity to sit down and, and think about you and write something from my heart to you. Not just send you a birthday card and say happy birthday, but let me tell you what I'm seeing with you. Let me tell you how I, 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 what I'm thinking about here. And just write you a quick little note, not long, not all drawn out and trying to be preachy, just... <laughs> You're awesome. You're awesome people. And it's just great for me to be a part of you. Yeah. Amen. Every, how, how many of y'all got your birthday cards? Glory to God. Did it bless your hearts? Yeah. Bless your hearts. Did, you didn't expect mine. Did you get one, Antoine? Want no money. Want no money in it? <laughs> what you going to do with them, preacher? What you going to do with them? Uh, what you going to do with them? Yeah, <laughs> you agree with him. So, so, so next, so next year, got to be some money coming, right? So all them blessing the words is good, but show, show your brother some double honor, double honor. Chanel got some money. Didn't you get some money, Chanel? You did. How much you getting, Chanel? 
car? Yeah. A dollar. <laughs> so I can send you a dollar, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. So I'm just trying to tell you guys, come on, um, we're going we're gonna to have a good time. Live stream, why did you get those three names? Because I really want you to contact those three people today. And I want you to tell them how you see them. I want you to tell them something really good about themselves. I want you to bless them so seriously. Don't pray no prayer unless you have to at the end and they tell you something you got to pray over. But just bless them. Tell them I was thinking about you and I want to tell you how awesome you are. I want to tell you that you are going to do great things and I see you doing great things. And I am so honored to be a part of you. And if you can do that, I guarantee you that will be the greatest Christmas gift a whole lot of people will have gotten this year. Because they will know that you care about them. That's why you got your three. We're going to do ours in-house. We can do it at home if you want to call somebody if you want to as well. But amen. We bless you live stream. We love you. You got work to do. So go and do it. Give your offering though. Don't forget that. Because that's a blessing. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless you. Bye bye. All right. So. Um, give me.